This summit is going to be special. It's an unprecedented gathering of heads of state and government. Civil society, academia, the private sector. It's the first time where we have over 150 confirmations from heads of state and heads of government. Even the Pope is going to be here. The goals and the targets are really the remit of all development actors. If I was to use one word to describe who would be implementing it, it's everyone. Everybody is tasked with implementing the post-2015 development agenda. And that's going to be the real challenge. How do you convert this big conceptual agreement into reality which benefits the welfare of people everywhere? Twenty fifteen should mark history. DESA has a profound substantive and logistical road in the summit. On the substance, what we have now, the post-2015 development agenda, all that has been developed with the substantive inputs which came from DESA, coordinating it with the entire UN system. It's been a long commitment. I've been at it now for over three, four years. There were times when you felt, are we going to weaken? Are we going to tire? Are we going to have the politics overwhelm the process of elaborating something meaningful? But perseverance pays. And that's the first lesson I have uh, from this experience, that one has to be persevere to succeed. What we have to avoid is short-termism. This is a 15-year agenda, and everyone who's planning on implementing it should have a long-term vision. The biggest strength of these goals is that it's been the product of unprecedented engagement in the United Nations. Everybody is committed to these goals. Governments are committed, civil society is committed, academia is committed, the private sector is committed. Everyone owns these sustainable development goals. So everybody has to be part of the process and identify with the process, identify with the outcome, identify with the implementation. And that's the only guarantee of the success of development agendas.